Welcome to another collective reading. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. This reading will be general and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. This will also not be for any specific zodiac sign placements, but if I do see them come out, I will mention them. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get, where you can get access to all my extended readings. Click the join button below or you can find more information about joining in the description box. Private readings are open. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can find information about that in the comment section. If you're interested in purchasing some authentic gemstone jewelry and also helping to save the sea otters, you can find information about that in the um, description box as well as a coupon code. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. So, let's just see whatever comes out, comes out. What do they need to know right now, Spirit? What do they need to know? Well, the Spirit said, ooh. Well, this looks good. So we have wishes granted forever yours. Okay, now we have karmic ties. We have it's a celebration. Okay, what's going on here? Clarify um wishes granted. Bless union. So it looks like you guys are about to get some type of wish fulfillment in the form of a blessed union coming in. Um it says Wishes coming true, magical energy surrounds you, your thoughts are manifesting, and it says meant to be together, love that transforms, and divine mission together. Then, let's see, we have forever yours here as well, and then we have nature call. So it says connect with nature, take a breather. So it looks like, from what I'm getting with forever yours and nature calls here, it looks like you guys have already met your person. Does that make sense? I feel like you guys have already met your person with the nature calls, ground yourself, connect with nature, take a breather. It's almost like you guys have already like encountered your person, but it's almost like you and this person kind of need a minute to kind of like process this a little bit. And, you know, maybe not you. I know some of you guys probably like, not, I don't, but like maybe you and this, maybe both of you do, but connect with nature, take a breather, unbreakable bond. It's almost like, the bond is there. It's just like maybe your person is needing a little bit of time to process this or kind of like get a little, get on their feet a little bit or like kind of, because we do have karmic ties here. It's, or maybe somebody needed to kind of like declutter their energy of something because it says karmic relationship, karmic relation, karmic situations dead, not for you. And it says daydreaming, fantasizing, escapism, and wishful thinking. What about it's a celebration? Victory, success, I mean, um, victory, social events, parties, renewed enthusiasm. And then we have the cosmos. Soul gifts, divine plan aligned with the universe. You know what's meant for you will always be for you. But then we have like this karmic. Why is this karmic ties here? We have straw into gold, alchemy, reviving what was lost, creating something out of nothing. So there's like this, this divine connection, but there's like a karmic situation that's kind of like in the middle of it. But yeah, but we have two hearts here. Falling in love, the feeling is mutual, equal effort. But why is karmic ties here? on a pedestal, feeling they're out of your league, great admiration, idealizing and denying flaws, manifestation, manifesting dreams, your power is activated, everything is flowing easily. I'm not really understanding what is happening here. If there was a karmic situation blocking 
um, this relationship from coming together the right way. Or maybe somebody had to like kind of take a break go off and pay a karmic debt, learn a karmic lesson, handle a karmic, uh, you know, handle something karmic before this could come together the right way. It's like they were always thinking about you. Because we have fantasizing, escapism, and wishful thinking. It's like, you, you've been on this person's mind the entire time. But it's almost like if they had to come, if they had to go handle something, that looks like that's been handled because we have victory here. What was the karmic ties or karmic situation? We have, see, I feel like that's been handled because we have fanned out, available, no limits or restrictions, willingness to be vulnerable. So maybe that has been handled. The karmic, whatever the karmic blockage was, because we have heart of betrayal, unfaithful, love triangle, betrayal of trust, mm. sacrifice, a difficult decision, a lot. See, somebody is handling something here. Because says, must give up something to win. Aligning priorities, a difficult decision. We have lone wolf. And it's funny because when I was, or what, what did I see? I saw independent earlier. So maybe somebody is, um yeah, lone wolf, free spirit, happy single, choosing to stay single. The return. The past returns, coming together, returning home. Somebody's coming back to you after handling or closing out a karmic cycle here. Yeah. Wanting to conquer, fighting for your love, not giving up easily. But somebody had to pay a karmic debt or they had to kick, close out a karmic cycle or handle some type of karmic situation before the two of you could come back together or learn a karmic lesson. Um, so there was like a waiting period here. They had to go through some type of karmic situation, but it was like they were always thinking about you. They were always yearning for you. They were always fantasizing about you. You were always on their mind. It says yearning and longing. Like they were always thinking about you. You were always, yeah, but they were going through something here because it says drama out of control, unpredictable situation. So it was something, but it says you are the ruler of their heart. You were standing out from the rest um, when it came, but like, well, give me more clarity about what this person was going through. I'm about to get another deck. See, we have, ooh. So for some of you, it was just that, that this person like was just needing to just, they weren't sure about you. And I know that some of you guys were not wanting to hear that, but this person just needed to date other people. They needed to explore their off. They weren't ready. They weren't sure if you were the one, but they, you were always, they were always thinking about you. It says not ready to settle down, many love interests. So this person was just like, kind of like exploring other options. They were seeing what else was out there. They were dating other people, but you were the one. So this is, this is one of those situations where they, when they were dealing with you, they were not sure if you were the one, but through dating other people, it became very clear to them that you were different from the rest. There was something special about you. They could never stop thinking about you. You were never far from their thoughts. Um, so their love for you or their feelings for you became stronger through their experiences with other people. They realized how special you were. They realized how good you were to them, how, how, how well you treated them. Or It's like something about that. So yeah, they realized how special your connection was through their experiences of dating other people. We have planetary vibes on the back of the deck. Planetary influences, celestial realms, connection with the cosmos. Yeah. So it says sacred cycles, let go of the old, honor the cycle you were in. What goes around comes around. So yeah, they've gone through some karma through dating other people. They've gone through some karma um, and realized how good you were to them or how good they had it with you, how much of a gem you were, which is funny. I mean, these aren't really gems on this card, but it's like you, they kind of do look like gems, these hearts. It's like they realized... Um, how much of a gem or how much of an empress, how much of a queen, um, how much of a um, an asset you are through their experiences. Uh, they got some karma through their experiences with other people that they encountered after they dated you. So or how, I, I, why did they decide to walk? Oh, see, it says the hand of fate, faded events, faded relationship forces beyond your control. So, yeah, we have miracles here, too. Miracles are unfolding. They just, I feel like they, they knew that you were wanting to settle down and they just maybe weren't ready for that at the time. But now I feel like maybe they're wanting that now. Um, it says miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. So tell me, Spirit, um, 
was it was it just that that they were just not wanting to settle down why were they not and take it could be queen or king that's something you guys need to realize because i'll see sometimes um uh, and i'm just saying men because i'll it, it will usually be a man in the comments that'll say this like oh tarot is usually only geared towards women that's not how tarot works the energies are interchangeable it can if you if, if you see if you think it's about a woman or you can you can switch it's for a man it's the energies are inter always interchangeable if, it, if i say a queen it could be for a king or a queen if you're watching this and you're and you're a man and you think this is about a woman then you can flip the roles it's always you can always flip or switch it okay just keep that in mind it's never you know there is no genders or anything in tarot it's energies okay so um what was i gonna say here so why was this person feeling like they wanted to go out and explore other options why was this person feeling like they wanted to go out and explore other options anyways well yes i know that this person's having an epiphany spirit's not really telling me i see that they're having this epiphany and they're taking action towards you i see this they're realizing something here but why was this person feeling like they wanted to explore other options you know and look elsewhere anyways wow we have carelessness not playing they did they didn't play their cards right they they messed up right negligence inattentiveness whatever attitude so this person tried to act like they didn't care at some point they didn't play their cards right Ooh, oh, the card fell miss winter stuck stagnation delays and setbacks so for some of you it was they were maybe having some type of setback in their life time more we have, they were just stuck in their comfort zone for some of you. Feels like home, sense of security, comfort zone, unhealthy choices, bad eating habits, focus on your health there. So they could have been just very careful, like guarded, careful who and what they let in, not immune. So yeah, we have hard to please, don't care anymore. They're just like in this very like ugh, heavy burden, carrying old baggage, clinging to an, so they could have still been clinging to an unhealthy relationship or they were holding on to the past. What happened in the past it could have been because they had a lot of responsibilities one more card and then we have the proud rebel so they just are they're very non-traditional they're a rule breaker they're a non-conformist um and then we have consuming passion lustful lustful desire sexual they're just very yeah mm. we have voodoo doll bad influences scheming controlling manipulation so yeah very out of touch with their higher self as well so anything else out of this deck before i move on to the tarot healing heart so maybe this person's starting to heal it says opening your heart healing old emotional pain preparing for new love so maybe they're getting why why is this person starting to yeah look at this we have the knight's tale i can never say this word guys chivalry i have a hard time an offer of love old-fashioned values so maybe now that this person's starting to heal now this person's starting to want to come in and you know open their heart more and want to come in with this offer of love and the and he says, not playing games, all or nothing, last chance. Maybe this person feels like they're on their last leg with you. All right, we have the Grim Reaper. Mm. Cutting something or someone off, clearing away the old. And we have the breakup or divorce. If they did have a third party, it looks like they're ready to be done with that situation. Or they're just ready to clear away the old, just all of the old, okay? See, so so they're going through a rebirth process. They're going through the spiritual death. Yep, dark night of the soul. They're going through the dark night. Self, they're going through a self-discovery process. They're in, they're going to return. The path returns, coming together, returning home. And why? Yeah, they're it's like that. They used to be like this player, but I feel like that is dying in them. Why? Yeah, they they were holding on to a lot of anger and resentment, and possibly because they had gotten their heart broken. But it's funny, it's like, this is like the, one of those, like, they're like a person scorned. They're like one of those people that got their heart broken and they turned into a heartbreaker. You know what I mean? And it's like, they turned into a player, but what, what is making them want to go through this rebirth or what's making them go through this rebirth quicker than expected? And they're kind of going through like a quick rebirth process, fleeting moments, or maybe they feel like they're running out of time for something. Yeah. Lack of consistency on and off relationship indecision, the grasp of greed selfishness what about that a long list perfect match high maintenance unrealistic high standards never satisfied hard to please we have great chemistry highly compatible quick connection what's that with you 
truth and clarity that what? New connection, shaping and bringing together. What's that do with you though? Feeling lonely or abandoned, ghosted, cut off abruptly at the study room, learning to, studying you, learning to love, getting to know each other. Unfoldment. What's, taking action to what? Hold on. Too many. This person feels like they they found you and they feel like you guys are like kind of really perfect for each other. But it's like this person's very skeptical about you. This person could have abruptly like cut things off with you. This person could have possibly even ghosted you. It's like this person feels like you guys have a lot in common and they feel like you could possibly be their perfect match. But they're like skeptical about you or doubtful. They are very like they're a very skeptical person. What is making this person go through this death and rebirth or what triggered the death and rebirth? They're, what are they stressed out about? It says sleepless nights, lack of sleep, breaking point. They're at a breaking point about it could just be something that's going on in the universe. All right. We had a lot of stuff going on over the past like three months. It says planetary influences, celestial realms, connecting with, connection with the cosmos. What about it? We have miracles. So I, I definitely feel like it's just maybe something going on in the universe. Um, we had a lot going on, okay? We had a lot going on over there. We had the eclipse. It could have been something that happened in the eclipse season. Um, yeah, it could have been anything. There's We had like five retrogrades going on over the past, like, what, four to five months still going on right now. We had eclipse season. Lots going on right now, guys. So it could be any of those things. I know that for the, um, what is it, the cardinal signs, they have that 15-year cycle, 15, 16-year cycle that's ending here within the next couple of weeks. There is a lot going on going in the, in the universe. So it, it looks like it has something to do with that. Okay. So they're at a breaking point. And it says miracles are unfolding. So it's the universe. The universe is pushing this person um, to kind of make these changes. It's like this this keeps coming out. It's just you. It's that they've met. They've met their match with you. It says great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection. Give me one more card. Look. Sacred Emerald, Divine Love. They're having a heart, heart chakra activation. Receiving Abundance, Divine Love, Heart Chakra Activation. Give me more card. Wow. A loyal, loyal companion, loyal, devoted, unconditional love and protection. And then this, Wishes Granted, Blessed Union, Forever Yours. So it's just, and then the Cosmos. Soul Gifts, Divine Plan, Aligned with the Universe. Yeah, it's like, it says, they said, it's like they know that they, it says, last chance, all or nothing, not playing games. Like they know that they better stop playing around with this. So, yeah. Um, let's get some tarot. Where's my tarot deck? So it looks like something's coming together. I feel like they're going through their like kind of rebirth process right now, but and it's kind of they're kind of a little bit stressed because they kind of feel like they gotta, you know, the the rebirth, you know, the death of rebirth. It happens in its own timing. You know, they gotta heal and and you know when they heal, that takes time. But let's see what's happening here. But I do feel like they're coming towards you. So we have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have Judgment. Um, Scorpio energy. And we have the Four of Wands. I feel like somebody's made up their mind about you. You could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, they, like they, yeah, the Emperor. I'm telling you. Aries energy. What about, What's up with this Queen of Swords? The King of Wands. It could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. The Nine of Wands. Somebody feels like you are kind of like... I don't know if you're... A, you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but they feel like you're about to be done with them. Or they, they feel like you've set boundaries. They feel like they put you through a lot. Or they just feel like you're just fed up with them. Or they just feel like you are guarded towards them or you will be guarded towards them. They could, like I said, they could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Or they feel like you're going to cuss them out. <laughs> they, or they, I don't know. They feel like you're going to be cold towards them. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Or they feel like you're their wish fulfillment, though. Why do they feel like you're... They feel like you have strong boundaries. Why do they feel like you're the Queen of Swords? See, now we have the Queen of Wands. See, they feel like you are their perfect match. I'm telling you, but they... Why are they feel like viewing you as the Queen of Swords? The Five of Cups? Because they feel like they disappointed you. It's like they, they have regrets in regards to you. And they feel like they disappointed you. The King of Cups. What about the King of Cups? But they love you. They do. Or Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on... They have come to some realization that they love you. 
I'm telling you, this person has come to some type of realization that they they are worried about how you'll what how you feel about them or what you'll say to them. But somebody has like awakened to the fact like they know they want to settle down with you. They want to step up for you. But they want to put effort and work into you. They have a lot of clarity when it comes to you, when it comes to how they feel about you. This is somebody that has like a has had a development of feelings for you. But it's like they know that they have disappointed you. And they have a lot of regret when it comes to how they've moved with you. But they feel like you guys are a perfect match. We have the king and queen of wands. They feel like you're everything they want in a person. But I do feel like they think that you will be guarded towards them. And you may even have some not so nice things to say to them when they come towards you. But let's see what else. Six of pentacles. But they do want to give you like this equal give and take. Um, Four of pentacles. What about the four of pentacles? The sun... What about the four? What's the four of pentacles in the sun? The tower. I feel like when this person comes in and tells you all this, it, it may be a little bit shocking because this person has been holding a lot back from you or something like when all this kind of comes to light and they come in and share this with you, it's going to be like, I don't think it's a bad tower. Scorpio energy, three of pentacles. You know, I feel like they just, they want to try to work on, they want to work on building something with you. But it's like this person's, but yes, the star, like this is good. This is like going to be what you were hoping and wishing for. But I feel like this person's been holding in a lot. They've been holding a lot back from you. And when all of this kind of comes to light, it's going to kind of be like shocking. Ugh. The seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups here? The queen of pentacles. Why is the queen of pentacles here? The empress. The Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, um, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Cups. I do feel like this person did move on from somebody. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like they were dealing with somebody. What's the Empress? It's somebody that they're realizing is like. What's that do with you? What's the, the eight of swords do with you? The three of cups. This per, uh, I feel like this person has been doing a lot of like, yeah, eight of wands. There's, it's like this person's had like a perspective change. There is this person that they, I do feel like they have released somebody or something like that. Or it's like, there was somebody that they were holding on. It's like, there's another energy here that they were holding on to. If they were still dealing with this person or they were just like used to that person. And that's why they were how do I explain this to you? They had to get that perception out of their head of that, like, because I feel like that's why. They were either still dealing with somebody or they were just like still had that as a perception of like a significant other in that in their head. And that's why it was hard for them to cultivate anything with you. It was one or the other. And they they had to get that idea of like, that's what a relationship was like out of their head. But I feel like they've kind of released that baggage now. Either they've broken up with that person or they just have kind of healed from that now. And they're like, okay, just because that my relationship with that person was like that doesn't mean my relationship with the collective is going to be like that going forward. But I do feel like they... Um, I do feel like they had to kind of heal from that or they had to kind of get that situation sorted out because remember we did have that karmic relationship card. There was something karmic that was kind of blocking things from moving forward. They were trying to get something sorted out, whether it was just they needed to heal from a past karmic relationship or they were literally still dealing with the karmic. But even when they were like still either healing from a karmic situation or they were still dealing with the karmic, they were, remember I did see them dealing, like they were either dating other people and getting some karma or they were just kind of still healing from some karmic relationships but they were thinking about you 
it's like they, they it's like they had to compare and contrast guys they did they had to compare and contrast but all it did was they it made them realize because i saw the empress it made them realize you were the empress um and it made them realize they needed to step up and be an emperor because we do have the emperor out here um so i i i, am, I think i am going to do a quick i don't even really feel like i don't know i don't even really feel like i need to do a extended because this is very well-rounded um, so I'm not going to do an extended for this one, guys. So, um, thank you for watching. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, um, you can find information about that in the comment section. Um, if you're interested in purchasing some authentic gemstone jewelry, you can find information about that in the, um, actually the, I will do an extended reading. And the only reason I will do an extended reading is so I can do just channel messages. We will do a quick extended reading just for channel messages um for all 12 signs of the zodiac that's the only reason i will do it extended um just so we can get narrowed down message you know narrow narrowed this down a little bit for you guys um if you're interested in that you can find information about that in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all um of my extended readings like i said private reading information can be found in the description box or in the comment section um, if you're in interested in purchasing the gemstone jewelry, you can find information about that in the description box as well as a coupon code. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Um, and I will see you in the extended. Bye.